welcome along. A strong start to your farm makes a big difference to how it develops into a virtual farming empire. And many things can help you put your best foot forward as you begin your farming life. So here are five tips I've learned for getting the best start in Farming Simulator 22. When starting a new farm, the most important thing you'll need is a tractor to be its workhorse but you want to get the most horsepower for the least money. Thankfully, bargains can be found in the used vehicle sales. And don't worry if your tractor you want isn't there. Just reset the save until it is. Here, though, we're lucky. We've got a Massey Ferguson MF7710S uh, for 60,000 with 19 hours on it. Uh, we're going to grab this and we immediately have only spent 61,000. Now, I like to keep an eye on the used vehicle sales as I play through because this is the best place for you to find equipment the best prices now that we've got our main tractor leasing equipment is a great way to make your money go further early in the game this is especially true of a harvester which is only used for short periods each year so i'm going to lease the new holland ch770 here we will lease that so that is 13,642. and to go with that i need a header we'll lease that as well and then finally we need a trailer and we will lease the class parrot trailer here too now if you're playing in new farmer what you can do is actually sell off the equipment that you don't need to be using the whole year like the harvester and get a little bit of extra money for your farm as well when buying your first fields in farming simulator 22 what you want to look for is fields that are ready to harvest this is because field prices don't change and a field full of harvestable crop costs just as much as a field that is yet to be planted in this instance here, I'm going to buy field 56, which is a field full of canola ready to harvest. This is on farmland 18 and will cost me 266,000. So we will buy that. If you want a field that isn't yet ready to harvest, that's actually an even bigger opportunity. You can earn extra money by targeting those fields with contracts throughout the year and getting them up to the best yield possible for when you eventually buy it and harvest it. One way you can significantly increase the value of your crops on your farm is by adding a production to it. So, for example, if we take the canola that we've just harvested off field 56 here and take it round to the oil mill, if we were to just sell it here, we would only currently get 571 pounds. Looking at the price fluctuations, the most we can get is 729 pounds. But if we buy the oil mill for 80,000, we can now convert this into canola oil at a ratio of two liters of canola to one liter of oil. With the top price of canola oil at 1,984, that is a 36% increase in the value of our canola. So having that applied on any canola that we now harvest, along with any sunflowers and any olives, means that those crops will be automatically uplifted by 36% by putting them through our oil mill. The production also works as a silo and costs less than the amount it would to place a silo itself. So really, you're saving yourself some money on the storage space and bringing in some extra income all at the same time. There are also several items that you can use to add more income to your farm with little to no input especially if you have some land available to you like we do at the end of this field examples of these placeables are things like beehives which give you a regular income of honey chickens which for only six thousand plus the cost of the chickens take just a bit of grain to produce eggs Greenhouses, which only need a little bit of water to continually produce strawberries, tomatoes, and lettuce. And finally, wind and solar power generators, 
which require no input at all and will just continually produce income from electricity. If you have a little money in space, placing any of these will give you some extra cash with little or no input, and this is a great way to offset the leasing of your equipment early on. So those are my top five tips for getting the best start in Farming Simulator 22. What tips would you like to share? Let us know down in the comments below. And for now, this is where I'm going to leave it. All that remains is for me to say... Thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please leave a like, drop us a comment, and give it a share. Special thanks to all my patrons and channel members. Your support is invaluable in making these videos and helping the channel to grow. For more from Virtual Farmer, check out the links below, follow on Twitch to watch live, and for more videos, subscribe and ring that bell. I will see you next time. Goodbye.